Yo guys, what is up? Slate here, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to apply custom skins on Crack Minecraft. Now, I did do a tutorial a while back showing you guys how to change your skins, but for premium users only. And after that video, so many of you guys have requested to make one for Crack slash free users, so here we are. Now, I will not show you guys how to get a Crack Minecraft launcher or anything like that, so do not suggest that tutorial in the comments. And, well, you probably already have a Crack launcher if you're watching this video anyways. So, with that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, so just know that this uh, tutorial is for version 1.8 and higher, um, it will not work for anything below that uh, unfortunately, however if there's 1.9 or something released in the future, it should hopefully uh, work for them as long as Mojang doesn't change anything with the skins or uh, texture or anything like that, so it, it's also feature proofed um, for now. Uh, so what you want to do is simply First off, you want to download WinRAR, so we're going to go to uh, this website here, you can go to the link in down below in the description, and once you're here, you want to download either WinRAR 32-bit uh, or 64-bit to find out what version your computer is, simply just go to your computer, um, shortcut or whatever, or you can go start computer, then go to system properties over here, and then um, look where your system type is, I have a 64-bit uh, system, so we're going to simply download it. 64-bit version so we're going to click on that and go ahead and save it and install it but I already have it so we don't need that now uh, after that we're just going to go on over to this website right here needcoolshoes.com it'll also be linked in the description here we can um, download skins if you already don't have a skin if you already have a skin a 1.8 skin then you're pretty much good you don't have to you can kind of skip this first part but uh, if you have if you don't have any skin I would really recommend you going over here it's a good site you can um, pretty much search for any skin that you want. Let's say you want a flash skin or something, and um, you can choose a skin over here. Then you can customize it to your liking as well if you want to do that, as you can see. And you can even, oops, you can even rotate it and do all that stuff. Um, so it's a really good site. And once you're done, you know, you find a skin and you chose it, you just simply go on this button right here, click on download to computer. We're gonna hit save, and there we go, we downloaded the skin right there. Alright, so if you have a 1.7 skin and you want to convert that to 1.8 so you can um, continue on with this tutorial, it's fairly simple to do as well. So let's go ahead and delete this skin right here. And what you want to do is click on this button right here. And then we're going to click on import from computer. Choose your 1.7 skin like so. It should pop up over here. Then simply just re download it again. I know that sounds redundant, but that pretty much just converted your 1.7 skin to 1.8. Um, and you can just download that and there we go. And once you've gotten your skin, download it, and you have successfully installed WinRAR, what you want to do is just go on the skin right here, we're going to right click on it, rename it to Steve, there we go, and make a copy of it by right clicking copy and right clicking again and paste on your desktop right here. And then we want to rename this, so rename it to Alex. Just like that, so you should have steve.png and alex.png. Once you have those two skins, what you want to do is go to any folder on your desktop, or you can even use the library folder by clicking there. And you want to go on the top of the uh, address bar here and type in um, percent app data percent. We're going to hit enter. Then we're going to go into our dot minecraft folder. And once you have gotten into the folder, you want to go to versions. Okay, and once you have done that, what you want to do is look for the version that you're going to be using. Uh, to put your skins onto your game. So I'm going to be using 1.8.8, but you can choose whatever version that is above 1.8. So let's go with 1.8.8 here. All right, once you have selected the folder of the version that you're going to be using, you want to right click on that, copy, right click, paste, and it should make a copied uh, version of that original one. So we can actually now modify the copy one, nothing will mess up on the original one here. And simply you want to uh, go on the copy one, right click, rename. You know, rename this to 1.8.8 or whatever version that you're using underscore skin just like that and hit enter then we're going to go into this folder right here and you should have two files in here a executable jar file and a json file and um, basically what you want to do here is just rename these as well so right click uh, rename 1.8.8 underscore skin so whatever you rename the folder we're going to rename it to that exactly that so there we go but there we go gonna enter and there we have our two folders and from here what you want to do is open the JSON file so you're gonna right click and open with uh, notepad or you can actually just uh, launch notepad over here 
and go and hit and drag that like so and then um, once you have uh, pulled up here you have a bunch of random stuff here we don't have to worry about that where this is uh, the version over here and the parentheses I mean quotations here 1.8.8 you want to highlight that and you want to rename it to whatever we named this uh, JSON file so 1.8.8 underscore skin and hit file and save that I'm gonna exit out of that one now we want to open up the dot jar file and this is where you will need WinRAR so make sure you have it installed but if you do have it installed you want to right click and it should have this new option here called open with WinRAR or you can just go with open and go with WinRAR here but I'll just click on that right there and once you have this up what you want to do is you want to go to assets Minecraft textures and then go into entity like so and you should have a bunch of PNG files here when you scroll to the bottom and what you want to do is go on the alex.png of here the first file of the PNG and you want to hit delete on your keyboard hit yes or you can right click and delete files and you want to find another file called steve.png and a right click and delete files or just delete it from your keyboard and there we go those two should be gone now and what you want to do is on your desktop just go ahead and drag those two um, PNG skin files that we downloaded earlier just drag them two over to your WinRAR here make sure they are renamed to steve.png and alex.png and they should appear right here like so and there we go we're pretty much done with this we can now exit out of this and exit out of this one as well and go ahead and launch your uh, crack minecraft so i'm going to do that to have it up where it says new profile you want to click on that and you want to name this profile custom skin and then where it has to use version you drop that down and select the 1.8.8 underscore skin or whatever version underscore skin select that hit save profile then hit play and once it starts up let's go into our single player world here so i can show you guys the skin all right, we're gonna F5, and there we go. We have our skin. As you can see we have also the custom thing that we made on our skin as well. And uh, yeah, so there we go. And as you can see, guys, the skin does work in multiplayer as well. But um, if you see right there, there's a person with the same skin as me, and that is because they're an actual cracked user, and they will look like you. So if they're an actual cracked user, they'll have the same skin as you. But that is pretty much the one con with this. But besides that, if they have a uh, premium account, as you can see, they have their own custom skin, and that is pretty much good. So if this video helped you guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and until then, guys, I'm out. <laughs>